Good morning folks, it's Matt here again. I've got another quick tip for you today and I'm going to talk to you about time reverse keyframes. If we jump into After Effects, we'll get started. So we'll go to Composition New, we'll stay with Lovely Pink, that will do. Um, we're going to quickly do a short animation, so let's make a circle. And so we have this lovely blue circle. Um, let's do a simple position keyframe. So let's go forward 20 frames, put a new keyframe, and we're going to slide him over here. So we've got this lovely movement now. And we're not too happy with that, so let's jump into the graph editor. We're going to separate the dimensions. And we're only animating the X position, so we'll just turn off Y. And then we'll do a nice slow out to a fast in. So we have something like this. If I press N here, I can preview the movement. Wonderful. That's what we wanted. So, say we have this movement and we want this shape to do exactly the same thing but backwards we can use something called time reverse keyframes if you were to come here further in the timeline, so say we wanted this to stay still for a whole second and then it will move we can copy select the first keyframes copy and paste them so now we have it back to the start, which is not what we want. But if we select the new keyframes, right click on one, go to keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. This basically copies the exact keyframes that we had plotted before and flips them. So we've got this same curve, but reversed. Obviously in the middle we've got some weird stuff going on, I'm not sure if that's going to affect it. It is. Okay, so if you have this, all you need to do is select your keyframe here, this one, sorry, and right click and go to hold keyframe. So what that will do is turn everything off until the next animation begins. So now if we go to 3 seconds, hit N, do a RAM preview you'll see we have this movement fast to s slow to fast and then fast to slow it's pretty cool this is very handy for character animations if you've made some nice hand movements and you wanted it to be the same but returning back to its other position you can do things like that it comes in handy for a lot of things it's a really neat trick I only recently figured out myself and it saves a lot of time um, Obviously this can be applied to anything, so if you did some scale as well. So we wanted it to scale to 60% as it travels along. My center point isn't sorted out. If I quickly use the motion script here, this will find the center point. Gives you some new shape though, I didn't know it did that. And it's all slightly messed up. Let's just select all the frames by clicking here, and then you can, it highlights every single frame so you can adjust your animation accordingly. So let's put it in the center. So, say we have this movement, we want again, we'll animate this to be slow to fast. So let's pull this handle here. Oh, by the way, when you're in the graph editor, if you select these things, this is an ease in and it gives you a handle. So you can do that. And obviously, on this one, I did ease out, which is this one. It gives you a new handle before they were linear, which is. Which one is linear? I don't use linear very often. There we go. This one is the linear option. So this is what they are by default. And you can add an ease out. And then you can adjust the curve. So there we go. We got this nice slow slow to fast scale down we will come to the same time copy the keyframes right click 
got keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. We've got this weird glitch again in the middle, and we can solve this by right clicking on this one and hold keyframe, which will stop it from uh, animating. So it makes a nice flat line there and there, removes any handles between A and B, which is A and B. So this second time here. So now if we do a render, there we go, back to the start. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today, guys. It's a really handy trick, it can be used for several things, so bear that in mind when you're doing some animations. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and if you've got any tutorial suggestions, then just drop me an email. Thanks, guys. Take care.